Hey guys, it's Sandy, and today I am doing a makeup review kind of thing. You know how I do, where I do a simple look and I tell you what eyeshadows I used, and I talk about the palette. It's been a minute, I feel, since I did one of these, because I've been meaning to do, like, a bunch of them, and then I get sidetracked, and then they don't get done. Um, but before we start, the lipstick I'm wearing is Grave Digger, uh, is the Grave Digger, Grave Digger Velvet Trap uh, by Jeffree Star. And the eyeshadow palette I am reviewing is Beauty Killer 2 by Jeffree Star. Um, I really like this palette. It's not a palette I normally, here's the inside of it, it's not a palette that I ever really thought I'd ever buy. But I really did like it. Um, it is kind of the main like complaint that I have and that I've heard other people talk about is that it's that the color scheme is kind of everywhere and isn't cohesive. Which I kind of agree, but I kind of also love that about it, I guess. Um, you know. You know, so I did do a, a very simple look. I only used three eyeshadows, but I already have ideas um, for other looks for this palette that are just as simple, like two, three eyeshadows each look. Um, and it's crazy because, like, I get that it's not as cohesive as people would like because people usually like to have a corresponding shimmer with a corresponding you know, whatever, and like this one, like a lot of people were saying like this color is like really out of place and kind of the pink is kind of out of place and it's just weird. But I love that about it, so I'm gonna try like do something cool. Um, but without further ado, here's the look. I really like it. Um, I don't know how well you can actually tell but I did do a little bit, something I don't normally do, I actually did my lower lash line with some eyeshadow as well. And I tried to put a little mascara on my lower lashes as well. Um, but I don't know how well I actually did with that because lower lash mascara, I, I hate doing it because I'm always afraid I'm just going to get like the big blob right under my eye. But anyway, so this is the look, again, and to show you guys what I did, in the crease, I used this color right here, Death Row, and then on the lid, I used um, Indigo Bling, you can actually see where I used it. And then also on like the inner corner and like a little bit of my lid, I used Guillotine Dream. And then on the lower lash line, about half the lower lash line, I did Death, Death Row. And then on the other half, I very lightly put more um, Guillotine Dream. And this one does not work all that great with a brush um, because I was using a small brush to kind of get it. And you can see I kind of got it, but not, it's not as like, mm, as I'd wanted it to be, but that's okay. I think this is pretty good. I will say though, um, this lipstick was not the best choice. I like it, but I don't. I feel this, the lipstick would look better with this look if the lipstick was a little bit more purple toned. But that's just me. <laughs> I don't love, I don't hate it though. I like the lipstick. I like the look. So, so that is what I did. Um, Death Row blended really, really nicely. Um, not a ton of kickback because I know some people love that. Some people, some people don't, not some people love that. Some people don't love that rather, um, you know, but that's not a deal breaker for me, but just saying there's very little kickback. Um, the texture of Indigo Bling and of um, Guillotine Dream is so good. 
they just feel so soft, so buttery, so just awesome. And I never use brushes to apply my shimmers. I just use my pinky. So, you know, I just kind of rub it in and then pat it on where I want it. And then if I need to, I'll just go in with my brush that I use to put on my mats and kind of a little bit. But the texture of Indica Bling and Guillotine Dream are just phenomenal. Phenomenal. And again, I like what I did. I still have, I have some more ideas I'm going to try to play with and see how that goes. I really, I really want to try this black. And I can't wait to use this one, a uh, Rebirth, because it's so pretty and it kind of reminds me of Probe. It's not the same color as Probe, but it kind of sort of gives me the, um, like, Probe vibes. And I haven't used these two match yet, but they're really, really pretty colors, so I can see myself really using that a lot. So I don't know. I think this palette is awesome. Um... I know that the color story is not everyone's cup of tea and it's honestly not even really my cup of tea because I'm more of a very much neutral eyeshadow type of person but I'm trying to like branch out more into like the more interesting colors so this really did like when I saw it I was like oh man I love that you know and I have the highlighter palette too the ice crusher highlighter palette um I don't really do highlighter on my face um because I don't I don't really wear face makeup I don't really ha hardly ever wear foundation like I very rarely wear foundation um or BB creams or anything like that and I don't use bronzer I don't use blush I don't use highlighter I don't use that I just wear lipstick and eye makeup but the ice crusher palette like is so pretty and like some of those colors are gonna be really good I'm gonna use them as like eyeshadow and stuff but it's gonna they're gonna look so pretty like so I am oh shit <laughs> I am gonna do that um so I am gonna use that one too so there will be a review on that like but again it's gonna be used mostly as eyeshadow I just need to figure out if I'm gonna use like the mattes from this palette or if, you know what I mean so but anyway, that was kind of off point, but whatever. <laughs> but I'm excited to, to try this palette some more. Like I said, I have two or three more looks that I've kind of like, that are kind of rattling around in my brain. Like, what would that look like? So that will be my, um, so this will be featured again. Again, it's so pretty. I really like it. Um. I mean, the quality of Jeff Jeffree Star's eyeshadow quality is always top-notch, in my opinion. He has my favorite eyeshadow formula that I have found that is, like, affordable <laughs> to me. Um, you know, I have more Jeffree Star palettes than any other palette. I have more Jeffree Star palettes than I have non-Jeffree Star palettes. So... Slowly but surely, my my collection is becoming solely Jeffree Star stuff, um, and I'm not mad about it. Um, so yeah, I have like 12 non-Jeffree Star eyeshadow palettes, and I'm not mad about that. So his quality is always there. These mattes are really good. The the shimmers have got such beautiful beautiful texture. Um, like I said, I will be doing more looks so I can like tell you like the quality of other shadows, but as of now, Death Row, Indigo Bling, and Guillotine Dream just have the best like Death Row swatches, or not swatches, but um, blends out really good. Indigo Bling and um, Guillotine Dreams just have the best texture. Just really great all around. Totally recommend. I think it's totally worth, how much was this? $45? I think it's totally worth the price. Definitely worth it. So that is my review. Um, again, here's the look I did. Like I said, I really liked it. And I really, 
I wasn't planning on using Guillotine Dream at first. And then I decided I needed to add something that wasn't purple. So it wasn't so. Because it like when I just had just Death Row in the crease. And just um, Indigo, Indigo Dream? Is that what it's called? Indigo Bling. Um, in On the lid, it just looked kind of a little bit flat, kind of. I don't know. But adding the silver really kind of helped it, I think, a lot. So, very pretty. Blended really well. I really like it. And I think it kind of, you can see it on my face. You know what I mean? Because, like, my eyes are really hooded. But it looks really good. I still really like it when I have my glasses on. So, yeah. That's my review. Definitely recommend this palette. And I hope you enjoyed my review. And I will talk to you later. Bye!